Hello and welcome back to the channel. Can you guess where we are yet? Yes, it is the beautiful Calmston Farm by Oxygen David. The birds are singing, the skies are blue, it's August and it is 10 past 11 or 11 and it's 11 minutes past 8. We've got a collectible there already, we may as well collect it while we're going around. So we've got £1,100 now. Um, and we are just going to head up to the farm. Because we're starting how you start when you first load up Calmston Farm. Which I'm sure isn't new to many people. Look at that for a drive. You wouldn't mind driving down there, would you, every day? So let's head on up to the farm. I believe we have got some plants in the field that need to be harvested. So that is going to be our first job of the day, getting this harvested, which is going to be good fun. Of course, we're going to swath it and make bales as well. So we are going to do that. Um, we are looking, I am going to look into extending the farm as well at some point for a bit more storage, maybe at the cow farm, not 100% sure as of yet, but yeah. But first, before we forget, because when we start to store the straw, we want to have full access to that cow yard shed. So, one of our first objectives on the farm is to... Let's remove that junk. Is to get some cows. Not too bothered about sheep and pigs. Uh, possibly get some sheep. We'll see how it goes, see how we feel and, and see how much money we make really. Um, but yeah. So, we want to get cows as soon as we can. I mean, we could probably get them now really, but we just don't have any supplies to feed them. And we could just buy some, but I'd rather not do that because we will need feeder wagons and all sorts of bits and bobs like that. So, yeah, let's head on round to the front bit of the yard. So yeah, I had a bit of a break recently, um, just purely down to work has been super busy so I've just not had the time to dedicate to content creating, which I really do enjoy but if you've not got the time, I'd rather not make a half fast video and I'd rather just do it properly if you know what I mean. So. When you've not got the time, things take tend to take a little bit longer. When you've not got the time, things don't tend to be as good, I should say. So we just want to attach that there. Pull it out just enough for the combine. I think we'll be about there. And we'll just jump back in. Hook her up. You should be golden. There is a couple of things that uh, we are going to change in the farm because I want to be doing a couple of different fields and stuff. Probably going to get rid of one of the first fields we've got. See if we can get a straight swap for it or something close enough. Right, we just want to unfold the combine. Yeah, so it's been a little while since I've actually played FS as well if I'm being honest. Right, let's get the swath mode on. Ah, there we go. I just got... Oh, it won't take me a minute to get used to the buttons, but it's just that case of getting used to it again. Right, I'm going to set this up on a course. On a course plate and let it do its thing. So if we go on to here...
just call it farm one for now. Course interaction. I've not got properly into the course play yet. It's because it's a lot different on um, this new one. The try on, create job, field work, course play field work. Here we go. Start first waypoint. Here we go. Should be automatic the working width. Headland overlap, 7% fill margin. Generate. Oh no, we want headlands two, I think. There we go. Right. Brilliant. So start job. Now we should crack on without any problems whatsoever. Beautiful, which he is. So we've got a couple of things to do. We will get this parked back away underneath our shed. Just like so. We'll leave it on there for now. And then we are going to get the other John Deere and go and pick a trailer up. So I'll head down to the shop. Let me get this auto drive thing off the screen. Because that's rather annoying. We've got this to harvest as well. Uh, barley, I think this is barley field next to our cows. So yeah, we have got plenty to be cracking on with. We've already got a baler but farm one, I'm going to call it farm one and farm two, or farm one and cow yard, because it's just easier. Um, so yeah, I'll shoot down, grab a grain trailer. I would use the cramp that we start off with, but it's a bit more of a dump trailer than a than a grain trailer. So we'll pick a new one up and get it headed back to the yard. So I'll meet you down there when we're deciding what trailer we are going to go for. We'll turn that off. We are at the shop. The Cotswolds Farm Machinery. First, we've got to look in the sales, see if there's anything about. We do have a slurry tanker. We don't need that yet, so that is not necessary. If we go into grain trailers, Dooley shouts out to me. Yeah, I think it's definitely the one we go for. 19 ton with the big sides. There we go. That will do. Let's number plates go. Let's have a look, see if I was right. 230R. Yes, we was right. So let's jump into here, get this hitched up. It wants to be hitched up, that is. Right, it's up to you now. If you want me to keep manual attach on, I will. If you'd want me to get rid of it, I will also. I'm not too fussed. Let me know what you think, if you like to see manual attach or not. Right, I'm just going to change the number plate on here because it makes sense to while we're here. So, customize. Why is it not going to let me? There we go. We are going to add a GPS onto it. And do we put it up to the 300 horse? No, we'll keep this on 230. John Deere, 230. Six, two, three, zero. Ah, okay. We do want to get GPS on here as well, because it's always nice to have.
doesn't cost anything to do that, so I don't mind. And we're just going to need to inch forward. Sort out the manual attach. There we go. Right, we're ready. Let's get back to the yard and start uh, carting as well, I suppose. We are going to possibly need a bale trailer as well soon enough. So we'll have to get that, I think, in this episode. Pretty sharpish as well because I will start baling probably as soon as we get to the yard if the harvester isn't already ready to empty. So yeah, what a beautiful map this really is. I mean, I did a little multiplayer session, few sessions that you might have seen live on the channel. Uh, and one one normal video but just something didn't feel quite right about it I don't know what it was I just couldn't properly get into it I, I think it's because I had so much else going on outside I couldn't really focus but yeah now um, making the time to really get back to it <clears throat> Sometimes you need that little break just to sit back and have a good think about things. It's never a bad thing. So we're back, better than ever, and we are going to smash it. So first off, let's head on down to Harvester. I think we might be able to sneak around here. Let's turn the indicator off first, I think. Might be a wise idea. Probably going to scratch the top of the cab a little bit here on the uh, overhanging branches and get caught by overhanging branches. We just nick a bit out of the field, it's not the end of the world, those little bits. Can't believe he's full already, that's definitely a good sign let me know how you feel about that switching backwards and forwards um, I can always change it if you don't like it so I'm not sure how I feel about it at the minute it's just one of those things if you know what I mean look at that beautiful Right, I'll tell you what, let's get a little screenshot while we're here. That could be... There we go. That's a thumbnail all over that, I think. Beautiful. Got quite a big tank on this touring. I am surprised that you do start off with such a big combine. We will just inch it forward a little bit because I don't want to be in the way of when we're bailing as well so just like that turn it off we'll jump in our other John Deere our other 230 can't believe we start off with two 6Rs and a 724 it's pretty good of them really good of Oxygen David to give us that much that much towards starting off and you'd start off with a big Radistad drill and a cockling I think it's a cockling um, cultivator I think it's a deep cultivator as well I'm not sure if it's deep or shallow can't actually see what we have here yeah it's a cockling looks deep I'm going to say it's a deep cultivator We can always have a look when we need to find out. Let's get the bales cracking on, shall we? The sooner we get a load stored up here, the better it's going to be for our future with the cows. Ah, oh, PTO's not enough. There we go. It's been a little while since I've been um, using 
manual attach, so forgive me if I'm slow a couple of times. But hey, we'll get there. Nonetheless, we will get there. I think I've turned that off by accident. There we go. Now we're going. If you hear the odd occasional squeak as well, it's because I've um, got a, a like a knob on the steering wheel. Makes it a lot easier when you do doing telehandler work, that's for sure. But I think I'm going to have to get a little bit of WD-40 on her. Look how beautiful the weather is. Perfect day for the harvest, I think. We have got depth of field off as well. And we've also got the 4K textures. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see, see how much difference there is, but um, we'll find out when we're recording. And I'll tell you something that we do need to change is that bale size right we're just ironing these little creases out and then we shall be firing along so yeah this field to the left um, it's already cultivated but still needs ploughing so I'm going to sell that field and just trade it for another I think there's uh, no point wasting my time ploughing this field again even though it has been cultivated I'd rather buy a field that will need ploughing but we've got to harvest it or we have to do the cultivating or whatever so yeah that's my thought behind that probably going to try and buy a another grouse field as well because we've we're gonna need plenty of silage and hay hay uh, for the cattle <coughs> But yeah, we're moving on. We are moving on. Don't think it will be too long before the harvester needs emptying again as well, if I'm honest. I think it will be around here somewhere. Be nice to see how many bells we do get out of this. Right, we're getting out of the John Deere. Are we going to get turned around here? We might nick a little bit of wheat. Oh, barley, sorry. Oh no, this is the barley field. I think the one next to the cow field is wheat. There we go. And we're going to go and have to empty this straight away. Because the trailer is going to be full. Definitely tell it's been a little while. i reversing and things. Oh, she wants to go on the move. That's fine with me.
Oh, I'm on 100%. Too busy concentrating to make sure it was uh, all the way, <laughs> all the way under. And yeah, we're on 100%. It's a lovely little rig. The Dooley trailer is a cloudy little trailer. No, we don't need it, but let's have a look at the strobes. Very nice. We definitely need those when we're on the road. Going down the highways. Do we tip it on the floor or do we tip it in the bin? I think this time, just for ease, we are going to tip it in the bin. Because I just feel it makes sense to. If we've got a grain that can go out to sell pretty quickly, I think, then we might end up tipping it on the, on the deck. But I don't know. We'll see. Such a nice map, isn't it? It's so British. Such a British feel. I'm just going to take this down to the bottom end of the field because I think that's where the harvest is going to be going. We'll empty him on the way down. Dodge the bale. We did just. A lot in his tank there, didn't he? Right, let's get out of your way. Just sit in there. Should be fine for a minute now. Yeah, we've stuck with the JCB telehandler too. The only reason at the minute I'm a little bit put off by it, which I'm, which I'm not normally put off by. I love the JCB telehandler, but when you put the bell spike on doesn't quite sit right on the headstock and I think that's because you need the actual JCB attachments for it so that's why I've been uh, sitting with the Manitou a bit more recently with that auto drive screen again I've not actually used the auto drive not yet anyway Feels a bit too complicated for me, but I probably should get into it and give it a real good go. Here we go, another bale coming out. Right, we're just on the second headland with the baler, just here and the combine's going back down for his second time so I thought I'd empty him on the way down make sure we're keeping him low enough so we don't want him stopping going up the wrong way now I think we're going to get another full trailer load here. Just short, 90%. So we'll take this and tip it straight away. Because it's done and out the way then. Ready for the next unload. 
There we go. Emptied the second load. Not quite a full load. Could have been, but I'd rather not wait around just to fill up the trailer. I'd rather get it tipped and get back back to the field as soon as possible, really. So we'll head back round. And get this a bit closer for the old combine. I tell you what, he's shifting. He's come back up and on his way back down already. He's flying. Right, anyway, let's get back to the baling, shall we? We need to try and catch up with this. He's getting away from us too quick. Looked like I ended up making three smaller bales, but I mean, it's not to worry, is it? You should be all right. Anyway, let's do a bit of a time lapse. Or cinematic, see how we go. And uh, I'll catch up you when we've probably pretty much cracked through it.
this way Oh This matters, is it sane? Why you still live in vain? I'm not the one, you're the victim of your own mistakes It's sad to hear the lights Under the street lights Under the street lights has pretty much harvested this field and baled it. How do you think we got on? How many bales do you reckon we got? Put it in, put it in the comments section now and I shall reveal to you in, well now because we won't have another bale come out so let's just empty this harvest up. Right let's have a look shall we? So if we go on into statistics I think is what we need which is here, worked hectares 19.65, bales produced 33, not bad I don't think, I think that's really good and we spent one hour and four, well one hour and 14 that was just when I loaded the save, um, the extra half hour or whatever it was, so one hour and 15 we've played this session for in a total now, which I don't think is bad going whatsoever. So we'll take this just up to the yard up here, get him out of the way. Actually what we'll do is we'll just tip him straight away because then he's he's tipped and, and done then. So we'll just park this because we are going to need this down at the next field which is wheat. I got that wrong at the start. The other field's wheat near the cows and this field is barley. There we go, just fold that header in nicely. Fold up the 
bin on top. Just get this in position to roll onto the header trailer. Oh, this is a 714. It's not the 724. It means it's got a bit less horsepower than what I thought it had. That should be about right there. Oh, I've got to touch Peter. This is the thing with the manual um, things. I forgot about that then. Detach PTO and I think it's that electric cable we need to detach. But I don't think it's going to let me. Let's try that. Oh, it doesn't. I don't think you need to detach that anymore. You definitely did on 19. Right, we'll leave that there. Turn that fent off and then just finish off our bailing here which is going to be about now that's done fold up and lift up what a lovely job that has done I tell you that's, that's done a cracking job we have got a setup and a half here uh, I can't deny it we've got plenty of tractors and trailers first I want to have a look at what land we can swap out for build two. So if we look in selling it, it's 454,000 pounds. So we sell that and then we want something that's about the same. But this 21, I think, we need to see what's in it and it's potatoes and that's potatoes as well oh we could be struggling here i think 312 how much is that well i did say we wanted another grass field as well so do we buy the grass field or the oats. I'm going to buy the grass field for now. And we wouldn't have had enough for both anyway. So that's fine. It just means uh, we've got one less big field at the minute. But we're not going to be selling our crops until sort of January, March, uh, January, December time anyway. Because that isn't the best. That's the best time to sell them. So yeah that's when we're going to be selling them just going to jump in here and get the bale spike so the pallet forks that sit perfect on the jcb telehandler we go over to the bale spike not quite as perfect as you'll see in a second yeah not quite as good is it it just sits up a little bit so we need to now buy a bale trailer right well um i just thought i'd give you a quick update we bought a johnson's bale trailer which didn't plan out to be that great we couldn't even fit four 180 centimeter bales along the bottom so i've kept it because we're going to need a cattle flow at some point so I've kept it to just put the cattle trailer on to and then we also bought a Rorgan 32 foot triaxle trailer so this is going to be a main, our main bale trailer and if we ever do any smaller jobs like on the grasslands or anything I suppose the Johnstons will come into play a bit more as a bale trailer because we've already got the the adapters for it so we'd be silly not to but I just thought I'd give you a little update into what what I'm doing um, as I said just getting these straw bales done we'll probably do a bit more of a video on straw stacking in the next video because we've still got a wheat field harvest which we're gonna do straw bales in as well so and now I'm talking at the same time as
trying to do this, I'm struggling. <laughs> Which is always going to happen. But yeah, so yeah, just thought I'd let you know, keep you updated. And you could see a little bit of footage of what's going on. It doesn't want to sit on there too well now, does it? We just take it over a little bit, I reckon. What about like that? There we go, that's a bit nicer. But yeah, as you can see, straw stacking's not going too bad. Pretty neat, to be fair. Well, for me anyway, it's quite neat. So yeah, there you go. I thought I'd give you a little update at the end of the video. Uh, just showing that I'm trying to get these bits and bobs done so we can plough along next video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.